Hi, this is an instructional video from pipware.com. I'm Stratman and I'm going to show you today how to set up the dashboard on your MetaTrader installation. We've just done a uh, installation of GoTrader in a previous video uh, to give you an idea of how to install MetaTrader and then how to install the dashboard into that MetaTrader installation. If we just add a chart to our screen here, uh, what we should find is if our installation of the dashboard has been successful is we should see the dashboard in the indicators list and if you downloaded the template from the website you will see the template here. The thing we, we want to do straight away is basically just click on the template. That's going to be our easiest way to get the dashboard on our chart. So let's do that. Now immediately the screen takes on a different look. We've got red and green candles, we've got arrows everywhere. We've got this time error occurring here. This is due to the fact that every MetaTrader platform um, has its own broker time and your broker time will be probably be different to what my broker time is where I created the dashboard. So we need to make an adjustment for that. At the moment your, your broker time is shown up here in the market watch window and it should be for me is 18 minutes past midnight but what I need to know is how that relates to GMT time because the dashboard has been set to work off GMT time. So let's figure out how to do that. In my manual I explain have a look at the market watch time here which is 18 minutes past midnight and then we'll go to uh, the Greenwich Mean Time website which is greenwichmeantime.com and it's saying that it's 10.18 so so we're saying just past midnight this is saying 10.18 p.m. so my guess is that there's a two hour difference between us and um, the broker uh, sorry GMT and the broker so what I'm trying to display here on the dashboard is that you've got a time error and this is in seconds. Now it should be fairly obvious here that what we just discovered here was that we're two hours kind of out compared to GMT anyway but this is telling you that as well. So what we need to do is figure out what this is in hours and what it's closest to even though that says 7204 don't worry about that it just goes 7200. 7, Divide it by 3600 and you'll know that 7200 seconds will be two hours because there's 3,600 seconds in every hour. Don't worry about the extra four seconds there. There's a tolerance of about five minutes which is 300 seconds. Don't worry. What you'll need to set is you need to right click on your chart and choose indicators list or you can press Control I to bring up exactly the same window. You need to go into the dashboard so click the dashboard, click edit and go down your list and find your time zone setting and it should be just under broker here broker time zone what I'm going to do is just write in how many hours difference this is equivalent to we don't write it as a decimal or anything it's always a whole number minus 13 to plus 13 so in this case that's 7200 so that will be two hours 3600 seconds in an hour click OK and if you've done everything correctly what should happen is the price should start being displayed here. If you ever have an issue with the time zone setting this will say time error again here and uh, you will need to just check what may be wrong. You may find that your broker time compared to your own time even though you've got the right time zone this might say 20 minutes past midnight but your own time might say 31 past something which means that even though the time zone you set correctly here for the broker uh, time between your computer clock and all the relationship is, is like 15 minutes difference. So in my case this is 1120 and we're looking for a 20 up here as well which has just changed to 21 and this one here should change to 21 shortly after. There we go. If you have a disparity between this and this in the minutes part, more than five minutes you will get a time error here. Okay, hopefully that was um, helpful for you in just setting up the time zone for the, the dashboard and I will give you some more videos later. Thanks, this is Stratman, goodbye from pipware.com.